Oh, okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. What up, YouTube? It's your girl, Pimp, back with another video, back with another Black Excellent video. And today I have my girl, Shay, and we're going to talk about her new business, La Bella Designs. How you doing today? I'm doing well. Can't complain. That is awesome. Awesome. Well, introduce yourself to the people. Let them know where you're from, what you do, all that good stuff. I am La Bella. I'm the owner of La Bella Designs. Here, I'm based in Dalton, but, you know, Chicago, Illinois is the nearest city. Mm -hmm. um, I do bling shoes. It could be Crocs. I'm venturing off to do the Converse, headbands, different activities in that area. Give me whatever you want. I'm going to bling it out. <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Um, so what, well, how did you get started? Like what made you start doing designing shoes and Crocs and stuff? I actually bought some bling shoes from another person online. And when I received them, I looked at them like, I can do this. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So I started doing my research on them. Things like that. And I'm I'm always I've always been crafty. So I'm like, okay, well let me see if I can do this. And then one day I, I didn't buy anything. I didn't do nothing. I was just researching and in the middle of the night at like three, four o'clock in the morning. I promise you I felt like it was God. <laughs> he gave me a vision. <laughs> he gave me a vision. I saw the layout, how to do it. And I'm like, I woke up immediately, like, let me just purchase everything. And I purchased everything that I needed from there and been going mm -hmm. since then. That's awesome. So the name, well, I know where the name comes from, but tell people where the name comes from. <laughs> it's really my my name and my my daughter La, La Bella, my daughter Bella name mixed together. I'm Lachey, she's Bella. So together, La Bella Designs. I thought it was fancy. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. I love the name. I love the name. So how long is that process? It seemed like it's so tedious. It is. Um, I started researching, I, I want to say about a month prior to actually purchasing the uh, items because you want to make sure your vendors are legit and mm -hmm. you know you want to make contact with them and see how fast they ship, how long you need to, you know, how much you want to charge people and mm -hmm. research other designers to see how much they charge and to make sure you're not overcharging or undercharging, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it, it took a while for me to actually get jumping on it you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so how many shoes have you done so far Ooh, i say about i started it i did my first shoe in at towards the end of june and i say okay. about 10 shoes by now oh wow mm -hmm. since june mm -hmm. oh i'm thinking like at the max two or orders a week oh that's that's love Mm -hmm. That is love. And so how long does each shoe take, like, hour-wise to actually complete? Well, it depends on the shoe. Like, if you get something real, real simple, it could take a couple hours, like two. Mm -hmm. But if you want something like like these, like, you know, fully oh, green and yeah. real, that could take up to four to six hours. Oh, my goodness. Just straight. Mm -hmm. But you know what the... Honestly, the hardest part is seeing the vision. Once I get the vision, I'm working. If I don't like it, I'm playing with it, you know, trying to get that right style, make it look nice. Mm -hmm. And after that, the blinking part is it's easy. That's the easiest part. Now, mm -hmm. um, so I know you do Crocs, you do gym shoes as well. Mm -hmm. Any like samples? I'm or something in like the that? process. I don't have some. I don't have samples of it as of yet. I'm in the process of doing Converse. I'm starting the, to add little stuff here and there, and I'm researching on how to do those. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and it's coming soon. It's coming soon. Okay, okay. So, do you think? Do you think gym shoes gonna be a little bit harder than the Crocs? I don't think so, from what I gather, it's about the same. It may be a little easier, considering that you don't have Croc. The the Croc is a certain type of. It's not rubber. It's like a rubber leather mix. So it's it's kind of hard to men's mm -hmm. stuff to it and gym shoes are straight leather well some gym shoes are leather so it may be a little bit easier to do it and it's not as much space with the holes and all of that 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to be that much harder. Okay. Okay. So where do you see La Bella Designs going from here? Um, What I want to do is like a, like a bling and sip. If I can get that going, you know, okay. I supply, I do all the supplies and you know, like do the paint and sip or whatever, do the bling and sip. I need to get that patent. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> Definitely. Cause people be stealing to... people shit. Okay. I want to do, <laughs> I want to do that. And I, I just need to figure out how much it's going to cost and where to, where can I do the, the service at? Okay. Okay. And then, so how can people reach you if they want to get their Crocs and Converse design and all that good stuff? I am on Instagram and Facebook. You can reach me on Instagram. It's labella.designs. And it's L, capital L-A, capital B-E-L-L-A, period, designs, capital D-E-S-I-G-N-Z. And I'll definitely put it down there below somewhere. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, let me make sure. Okay. And, we gonna, and, it, and, we, and it's the same on both. It's the same for both. Way. Okay, mm-hmm. we're going to throw that information back out at the end. So it's Tuesday, which is Talk About Tuesday here on the Pimp Show. And we just oh, go man. through little, you know, current events, what's been going on and stuff like that. So recently, which is a hot mess, everybody's trying to figure this one out, you know, um, one of R. Kelly's girlfriends, what's her name, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Savage, is saying that she's pregnant and she's pregnant by him. Oh, gosh, don't get me started. So, you know, everybody's trying to do the math, trying to make it make sense because he's been in jail for over a year. And I'm pretty sure he was like on lockdown or something like that. So, lady, make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense, my goodness. I can't believe that. <laughs> she trying to throw a baby on the man. He don't have no more money, ma'am. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Mm-hmm. Trying to be relevant. And right. And how you feel about the whole R. Kelly thing overall? I think that if I mean if if that's what he did, I don't know. I'm not I wasn't there. If mm-hmm. that's what he did, he deserves to be where he's at. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. his his music was beautiful. Everybody made some things off that book, but yeah, you can't be out here trafficking women and being a pedophile and things like that. That's not cool at all. Yeah, yeah. I was sad. I was sad when I learned all of that. Mm-hmm. I was a little heartbroken. Didn't want to listen to the music, but then you know what? It came up again. I couldn't help it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I no, help it. I mean, I feel like if we still listening to Elvis and mm-hmm. Rick James and all that other stuff. You know, me personally, they ain't gonna, it ain't got nothing to do with the music. It has mm. nothing to do with the music. And um, and I and I kind of feel like the FBI, they just used that sex trafficking to get him on RICO charges. Mm. I mean, he wasn't trafficking them, but they was, I mean, he had them traveling with him. So, I mean, that was a good tech. Well, yeah. you know, the state laws, if you go across right. state border, you are trafficking. You are trafficking, even though you're not intentionally trafficking. And then mm. I also feel like why are other people being put in jail? Exactly. Where the team, everybody there who knew about it should be up underneath that mug. Yeah, including That's the parents. Yeah, including if, the parents. Exactly. If you you selling your child into this, come on now, be serious. Everybody should go under. Don't don't put the public figure under there. Put everybody. Put everybody under there. That's, I, that was a whole organization. At, at that point, and that's how they got him on Rico charges. Like he may not thought that was an organization in his head. But that's how they got him on Rico charges. Because everybody's like, how did they get Rico charges? Well, technically, by definition, that was that's what he was doing. But my everybody thing is... Everybody knew about it? Yeah, everybody knew about it. They should be under the jail. Even with the whole documentary, you had women who was on there saying that they was bringing the girls to him. Why aren't they being prosecuted? Exactly. You know? And my thing is, y'all had him 20 years ago. That was him on the tape. Exactly. We all knew that was him on tape. And y'all let him go. It still delivered then. You know, so, but we shall see because he has to come back here in Illinois and I think Minnesota. So Mm. at this point, I keep telling people, he ain't getting out. He not getting out because once he started the feds, they're going to send his ass right to the state. That's it. Unless, 
Yeah, unless now, it comes. I, I want to. So does that mean? Does that mean that's the end of his music career though? Because I've seen some like underground, like mixtapes. You know, people making mm-hmm. music in the jail. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that's something that he's going to do. Well, it's, I mean, he can't. He can, but he can't make any money off of it. Oh, okay. That's the only thing. So he can write all the music he wants, but he can't he can't really make money off of it. I'm pretty sure it's a technicality. He can go around, maybe give it to his kids, but he don't really have a good relationship with his kids. You know, since you know, so and then I, I even feel like his ex-wife, she should be in jail. She should be in jail. <laughs> you know, I'm about to knock on the wall to come in. Girl, good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Like, I'm like, this is crazy. Like, don't give me I love Miss Mark Kelly, but I mean at the end of the day. You did what you did. You had it. You got off 20 years ago. You got mm-hmm. off 20 years ago. That was your wake up fan. Stop. You know, <laughs> Stop. but in his defense, <laughs> when you never got help for what happened to you, you think mm-hmm. it's cool. You know, mm-hmm. a, a lot of people don't know he was molesting himself. Right. And from you know. what I hear, it, it run deep in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think either his brother, his brother, I think the same person break both of them. Mm-hmm. You know, and I in the black community, we got to stop that. We got to stop covering up for these cousins and these uncles and these aunties. And, the, and these aunties are definitely out here. Mm-hmm. We need to stop doing that shit. Definitely. Stop covering I that agree. stuff up. I agree. Because now you're creating pedophiles. Because mm-hmm. And, that and kid, people shouldn't be afraid to, to come out and say, hey, this happened to me. But they be I know afraid. they say they they say the, the abuser would say, Oh man, I'm gonna do this. Nobody's gonna believe you. They're gonna hate you. Yep. It's not yep. gonna happen. Just just say it. Just say Give it. it. I said, yes. Just say it. I tell my nieces and nephews all the time, if nobody else is gonna believe you, I'm gonna believe you. Exactly. Like I ask my baby every day. Anybody mm-hmm. touch a cooler? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. And let yep. me know. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah, teach them about their body parts. Teach them about personal spaces. You know, mm-hmm. you know. It, unfortunately, even with their own parents, you still have to, you know, iterate that. Like, hey, if Papa or Daddy touch you, let let me know, because you you have parents that will do that. Unfortunately, yeah, that's true. The sad that's part of it, a, a part about it, that's supposed to be your protector. You know. But I tell and if them, your parent is the one that's doing it, it's like who is my parent? Right. Like, yeah, if they doing it to me, I know nobody else will. Right. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And that, that's why I tell them all the time. My niece be like, you gonna get you gonna get the pow pow? I'm gonna get the fucking pow pow. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna go to jail titty, for titty, mine. Bang, bang. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> chitty chitty bang bang. Chitty chitty bang bang. Speaking of another shot town favorite of ours, you know, and it made me sad, you know, because they from Chicago and they really, you know, supposed to be representing us, but um, Kanye, oh, uh, we, you know, we all know he has been struggling with his his whole mental issues. Uh, like I, I always say all the time, I still don't feel like he still hasn't grieved over his mama, even though it's been that long. I feel like he still hasn't grieved over his mom. Mm-hmm. You know, grieving really takes a long time. Period. It takes a you long know, you time. Can't, you can't put a time frame on grieving. Right, right. And but with Kanye, it's like he's not even trying to address that. He just feel like if he act the fool, it's cool, you know. So recently, well, you know, Kim was dating this guy named Pete Davidson, who's a comedian, whatever. And Kanye was making a life of living hell, stalking them, moving across the street, having different bitches over there every day, but worry about what they doing to the point where I they I feel like they just broke it off so he can get the heat off Pete, you know, so she can get the heat off Pete Davis, because you know mm-hmm. he has mental issues himself, and it was triggering Ooh. him. Because it was basically it's, it's basically bullying. You right, out here putting right. um kill like he put something like, like beat him up. He put something crazy on the internet and people was going with it. You know how social media is. Mm-hmm. They they go with it. You know trolling. what I'm saying? Trolling, sending him death threats, all types of stuff, you know. So I, I feel like Kim finally broke it off, you know, to save face or whatever for him. But then Kanye put something up there like rest in peace to Pete Davis. And it's like, why you keep bothering this man? To the point okay, where he, leave him alone. Leave him alone to the point that he had to go to therapy, back to therapy because it was triggering him. You know what was going on, and I'm and it's people out there really condoning that shit. I'm like, that's not cool. Why do y'all think that's cool that Kanye is doing that? Trolling. <laughs> people love to troll. People have committed, yeah, and people have committed suicide from doing that. 
You don't know what people's mental state is. Yeah. You know? I feel like people don't... We lack moral values as a, as a human race, I feel like. A lot of people don't think that, okay, your life is important. You know, mm-hmm. if we if we, if we we thought everybody else's life was just as important as ours, I think everybody would be way, way better off. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, so um, I believe it was yesterday, which was Monday, was Nipsey Hussle's birthday, and they presented him with the star walk of fame, and he has a day mm-hmm. named after him in L.A. Okay. Um, of course, the guy who killed Nipsey Hussle is getting convicted. I don't know if you've seen mm-hmm. the pictures, but he got his ass up in jail. I did not. I did they, not. I have to look that up. They, they, yeah, girl, they, they beat that man ass. They beat <laughs> his ass, you know. And his family was like, well, he should be in protective custody. No. Why should he be in protective custody? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who was he protecting Nipsey? Like who was who was protecting Nipsey at that time? Exactly. Exactly. Then he they tried to make it a crime of passion. I'm like a crime of passion. A passion. No. What was the passion about? Exactly. <laughs> he wanted to get put on. <laughs> what what was the passion? Well, that's what I said. What was the passion? I said he was mad because he got Nip- Nipsey called him a snitch. And Nipsey said, I don't fuck with snitches, basically. And you got mad at that? So, but I'm so happy he's getting the Walk of Fame. You know, unfortunately, the thing is for me, especially with these rappers, I feel like a lot of them wouldn't get the accolades that they got if they didn't mm-hmm. get killed, which is the sad part. That is sad. That you know, sad. I know a lot of people gave Whack 100 a hard time for saying that, but I, I feel like it's true. I feel like a lot of them get a lot of more notoriety because they end up big. And mm-hmm. it's like, why wasn't they get, you know, well, Nipsey, he, he was coming up. He was mm-hmm. coming up, you know, he was getting his time. His time was gonna come. But him, uh, Extition and some um Juice World, another Chicago. But you know what? Honestly, speak, speaking honestly, I didn't know about Nipsey until he passed away. And that's what Black was saying. That's crazy. A lot that's of people crazy. didn't know who I he understand was. what you what you were what you're saying. I I had no idea who that was. And and it took me a while to figure out, oh, oh, okay. I know mm-hmm. who this is. Mm-hmm. I wonder how his his wife was doing. How she's doing now? You know, she just recently did uh, an interview with uh, Angie Martinez recently, mm. and um, she she's you can tell that she's coping with it. She's doing well. She's trying to stay st- strong for the kids, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I haven't know, seen her do any like acting more acting or anything like that. That's coming soon. She was talking about that because I think it's supposed mm-hmm. to be a, uh, another ATL coming up. I seen that. And, and a couple other movies. I didn't, know, I didn't see her face on there. Yeah, so she, I know she got some stuff coming up, but you know she needed, she needed that time too. You know, so mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if they was officially married or was about to get married, but you know that was her love. You know, and for somebody to come take him, you know, how do you explain it to your children? You know, but um, like she stated before, you know, thank God she has the support. Uh, I know Lil Wayne has been very supportive because you know that's her, her mm-hmm. baby father too. Uh, actually, all the baby mamas, like Lil Wayne, baby mamas, all get together, watch each other's kids' birthday parties. So they've been really supportive. Yeah, that's support. supportive. Yeah, they they've been really supportive. You know, even Regine, you know, come get her little brother. You know, get her some time. So she's been definitely been having the support, which is good because mm-hmm. that definitely could have went left, broke her down. Yeah. yeah. You know, That's things good. of that nature. But Lauren, she's doing good. She's, you know, trying to maintain every day. But it's kind of hard to tell your son, you know, that his daddy ain't coming back, you know. And I think they was having a whole issue with his first baby mama about his daughter. So I don't know if they resolved that because, you know, Nipsey uh, basically had his daughter all the time. He didn't have official custody, I believe, but he always mm-hmm. had her. And so when he passed, I know they was going through that whole thing about who she should be with. She should be with the mom. Because, I mean, apparently, the, the mama had to been kind of like, not unsta- not saying unstable, but cool with him having her all the time. So I don't know why she, well, I know why she fighting. Because, you know, when we come to money, you know, people want to fight over the kids and all that other stuff. So I hope they resolve that. Because, I mean, he did have her all the time. All the time. Like, even at the mm-hmm. war shows, he had her all the fucking time. So... I hope they're not making that all miserable and stuff for her. Yeah. So it's that just. That would be sad. 
But yeah, it's 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 crazy. Another person coming up um uh, is Trey Songs. And I keep telling people, I said Trey Songs, but he better go somewhere and sit down before he end up with like R. Kelly. Because at the yeah. end of it, it's it's you can spill the tea now. Spill the tea. So you know it's been a couple of women who came out. Well, the first person, well, not not the first person, but um a couple years back, I don't know if you remember when Kiki Palmer was telling her story about when she was around Trey Songs. Before, I don't recall that. Okay, so it's been a couple of women who saying that basically Trey Songs is kind of like kind of like R. Kelly, kind of aggressive with the sexual thing. If he don't get his way, Blase skip. So fast forward, him and Kiki Palmer meet up. I don't know if they was doing an event or something like that, but or they was trying to date, or I don't know what they was doing, but you know, she stated that that's exactly what he was doing. She felt uncomfortable to the point that she ran here in the closet. So she was able to get a hold of somebody X, Y, and Z. And people, when I say people was dogging her, bashing her on the internet, all types of stuff. Fast forward to now, it's other women coming forward saying the same exact thing. You know, but he ain't been caught yet. So I'm just like, you know what, Trey Songz, you better go have several you, seats. Your day, okay, your day is coming. You better have several seats because, yes, your day is definitely coming because it's I'm sorry, when too many people say the same fucking thing, it's it got to be, be true. some true to it. <laughs> okay. It got to be true. 25 yeah. women ain't saying the same damn thing. Right. You know, on different occasions. And one one girl even went to the hospital when it happened. Because something happened where she didn't want to do it anymore and he basically forced herself on her and she actually went to the hospital. And got a rape kit, everything done. And but you know that that kind of got settled and swept under the rug. Ooh. You know, because unfortunately money talks to a lot of people. That's but sad. you have him continuing to do this to other people. Who do you think you are? That's my thing. That you can force somebody to have sex with you. I don't understand. Like, do you think your stardom or fame is more then the next, like, you're still a man. No means no. Stop means stop. At the end of the day, you can go to jail for that, regardless of who you are. Mm-hmm. They need to, he needs to get it together. Yeah. He needs to get it together. And and that's my, my question. Like, do you feel that, well, she ain't no feel they, they do. Do you feel like when people get in certain power, they feel like they can do whatever because they got money? Definitely. You Definitely. know, Cause I know. What I think that if I, I, I feel like if I, if I was famous, I mean, my mindset would change a little bit, but it wouldn't be like, oh, I could do, I'm invincible, I could do whatever I want to do. Mm-hmm. No, especially when you can get the next bitch to do it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, you can get the next chick to do whatever you want to do. Like you said, no means no. So I, I'm just gonna pray for my Trey songs because it, it ain't looking too good. Like I said, he gonna end up. I, I'm, I'm pray that he don't. I pray that he stopped, but you know, unfortunately, you have people like Harvey Weinstein, that other guy who ended up killing himself in jail. Like I tell people all the time, and in America, three things that go on that make money that will never stop, unfortunately, and that's guns, mm-hmm. that's basically pedophilia, if you ask me, you know, and sex trafficking. That's a those are billion dollar businesses. Yeah, them billion and dollars. And sex trafficking is is growing more and more and, and more. Yeah, the more they try to stop it, the more they try to shut it down. The more they open up Pandora's box. Like, oh my God, this been going on. Mm-hmm. This been going on. Like recently, uh, in Texas, I believe they was doing some type of raid for something else, and stumbled on a whole sex trafficking. You know. Yeah. So it's just like you know what we gonna do. What are our kids gonna do? You know, and right. us working, and us working with kids. I always tell the kids I work with, you have to be careful. Y'all be online trying to meet these mm-hmm. people, like it's not genuine. Not you know, when you feel and that hell on the back of your neck stand up, listen to that sign. Right, and then not even that, you have to be careful with your friends because a lot of times, what I've been learning is that the friends will bring you in. Oh, he cool, you know, this just my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set you up. They being family, they bring you into the same type of, you know, lifestyle. And next thing you know, you're gone. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of similar to 
like what the R. Kelly document, the girls were saying, like, yeah, I, he did me. Then I stopped bringing the other girls in. You know, I mean, and then what do you do with those when a victim becomes the predator? How do you sort right. that out? Right. You know, it's 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 a it's a it's a lot going on, and we just got to be more aware, got to be more prepared. You know, and protect our babies because at the end of the day, right. ain't nobody else gonna do it. Right, educate your people and educate our people. <laughs> you know, and like you know what I think about it's a it's a lot of he, out here where I'm at. I've seen on the news a few times girls coming up missing and yeah, one girl with the alert. snatched them. Yeah, did you see that one girl was actually snatched and thank God she was able to get out. Well, yeah. they ran out of the car because they because they were scared, but they definitely snatched out the street. But be yeah, careful. Watch your children watch, mm -hmm. when they outside. You know, it's it's sad, but we got to put alerts on our kids nowadays. Yeah. We shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. Because I sure said, that's like, what's going on in Dalton? Like, literally, Girl. it was like every day. I said, so Girl. it must be some type of sex trafficking going on, but it has to be. It, it has, has to be. be. Mm -hmm. In the suburbs is the best place to have it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's quiet, this and that. Blase skip, but we, we just got to Ooh, child, we gotta get it. We gotta get it together. And then I just mm -hmm. recently, this morning, um, my friend was telling me that they it was a shootout at the fucking Great America. You know what? So we girl, can't even go to Great America. Stop playing. You know, <laughs> even even though okay. it was it was an isolating thing, but it's like you got that mad at somebody that you thought you could just shoot them. And my thing is, how did you get the gun in there? Exactly, because they got security and fucking uh, metal detectors. So how did you even get the shit in there in the first place? Unless you knew somebody. Oh yeah, unless you knew somebody, and they just let you go and pass pass on in. I don't know the whole details, but I know it was an argument over some either standing in line or somebody cutting some crazy as hell. Which once again, it's not that's not what you use your gun for. Right. You know that type of situation puts people like me in a situation with these gun laws because they thinking that we all out here being cowboys. No, you know, I, I truly believe people should be screened. They should um, go, go through, through training, mm -hmm. all that stuff before you even acquire a gun <clears throat> because that's not what it's for. Just because you right. get mad, you want to shoot somebody. No, that's to protect you. Say, for example, if I'm out here doing ride share and somebody try to, you know, rob me, that's what that's for. Not because a, a person cut me in the line. Like, What's what's mental really going health on? is real. <laughs> mental yeah. health is real. That's mental health is real, say. and people don't understand that. You know, especially our community. I'm gonna say it like that. We, I'm glad that we are doing better as far as that topic because I do know I, we are doing better. People are recognizing. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe I should go talk to somebody. You know, mm -hmm. and you ain't really gotta be mental. Sometimes you be going through so much shit. You know, depression is real. Like, go talk to somebody, go see somebody, get somebody else's opinion who don't know you. That way you can see a different side of things and see how you, right. can, you know, cope with the situation. Work through that. And you work through that. Mechanisms. And then mm -hmm. I even tell some of my kids, if you got to cut some people off along the way, that's just what you got to do. Because sometimes people are just there for whatever reason or season. Right. I agree. You know? So if you got to let people go because they're not trying to elevate like you, let them go. Right. Let them go, girl. So, yes, girl. So, that's all I got for talk about it Tuesday. I really appreciate you being on. Once again, tell the people how they can reach you again for La Bella. La Bella by Design <laughs> on Instagram and La Bella Designs on Facebook. Woo you can DM me right there or you can, I have a email, labella.designs at yahoo.com. Okay, okay. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing more designs because I do see you posting on um, TikTok and Instagram. So that's pretty cool, you know, showing the progress, how you do it and everything. Mm -hmm. So that, mm -hmm. man, much success is definitely room for it because I have seen other people do it. So definitely you in the right market, girl. So hopefully okay. it just booms. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Yes. All right. You that's too. I have to quit my job. <laughs> I know that. But that's the goal. That's the goal to elevate. You know that is that's the goal. I, look, I, man, I'm mad. I wasn't one of the person that won that damn billion dollars. Shoot, oh, a billion dollars. Yeah, you know the person in displays won it. Somebody in Illinois actually won. Wow. <laughs> 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 
We don't want that with nothing. nothing. Oh gosh, man. And it will yeah. be in the plane. That's what I said. That's what I Why said. Why can't nobody from the hood, little Pookie and them down the street get it? That's what I said. And the crazy thing is, I'll be in this place with some of my clients, and I'm like, wow. But yeah, somebody just plans They haven't came forward yet, which I don't blame them. Get your shit together, then come forward. Move okay. first. <laughs> you better come on the screen with a hoodie on, like you know. Okay. I mean? <laughs> yeah, because you know, because you know, know yes. But you know, unfortunately, instead of Illinois, you have to identify yourself. Oh God, no. Yeah. yeah so all your debt. Collectors and all that shit can get their money. You know, Illinois, crooked ass Illinois. You know how that goes. I know. So I know. We uh, always remember. I, man. <laughs> well, YouTube, this has been another one. Black Excellence Slash. Talk about it Tuesday. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it down. I take it all. Just let me know what's good out there. And until the next video, we will see y'all later. Peace. Bye.